Suicidal Symphony 48. I'm gonna do a little review. I had it for a few days. My first impression so far. Some of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video. The first thing I want to uh, mention is when you buy harmonica, you always get this uh, cloth in the box. I'm sure all of you have uh, have these same cloths lying around. I have uh, a lot of them, and I lose them, and I'm, I don't really use them to wipe down. Uh, you know, the harmonicas are in and out all the time through the day. I've never been like very conscious about taking care of them, wiping them down. But I caught myself several times the last days, opening the box, polishing it a bit. After I'm playing, I'm also wiping it down, and it is because it, it's a beautiful harmonica. It is. I've probably seen every single video on YouTube where somebody plays or mentions this harmonica, and you can't tell from the videos or from the photos how nice it looks. You know the covers, just the way the light reflects. It's uh, it's really beautiful. So, for the first time, I'm, I have harmonica. I'm kind of taking care of it. Uh, I had expensive harmonicas before. This is the most expensive harmonica I've had. Not the most expensive I played, but it feels like something you really should take care of. Um, one of the first things that stands out about it is that it's smaller than I had thought. I've seen the videos, and I've been thinking maybe it's too big. It looks like it's kind of fat in the back. Compared to like the um, Saxony, I haven't played that one. No. Uh, just judging from the photos, it isn't. It's, it's not really that big or fat behind her. You have this curve, and it's opening up in the back. But holding it here, it's it feels like a twelve hole harmonica, and that was important for me because I tried a sixteen hole. Uh, I had a super sixty four. I did not like it. I did not enjoy the size. It was clumsy, it was too big. Playing with a microphone, I would have to be very conscious about taking the microphone up and down. So I figured out that, you know, a 12 hole harmonica starting on G3 will have all the notes that I will need uh, and the size that I'm comfortable with. So I was a little bit skeptical about ordering the Symphony 48. Because of the size, I was afraid it's gonna feel clumsy, big, it was gonna be like the Super 64 again. But it wasn't, it's really compact and it's very, very beautiful. Um, another thing I would like to comment on, this is G3, it's like the, if you have a 16 hole uh, harmonica, this will be your lowest G note on the tree blow. <laughs> It's airtight, you know. If somebody told me I can help you make this harmonica more airtight, I would only have one reply, one word. Why? What's the point? What are you gonna do with that extra breath? I don't know where to put it. It's it's airtight enough. It's like I said, you can breathe out, you can breathe in. It, it, it's what are you gonna do with that tiny amount? Possibly, maybe, there's a tiny amount of air. I'm not able to notice that it could improve. I doubt it. Why? Why would you even spend time trying to improve something as good as this? It's perfect, out of the box. It's very airtight. It's the most airtight harmonica I've played. Uh, that doesn't say a lot because I haven't played all of them, but I can compare it to the Kongsheng Lyra, the Honor Symphony, no, the Honor, um, Super 64 performance, the newer one. I tried a silver concerto. Um, out of these harmonicas, I played a Honor Toots Mellow Town. The CX12 is my regular playing harmonica. Uh, these harmonicas are not comparable in air tightness. They have potential. I even the Kongsheng Lira, I think, it's not perfect like this one. And then I can apply the same argument. What are you going to do with that extra breath on the Kongsheng Lyra? Because that's, that one is really good. But for me, with this one, I don't think there's room for improvement. Maybe when I develop and become a better player, I'm going to notice it. But at the level I am now, 
I'm not able to utilize that loss. To say it like that, if there is a loss, I'm not able to use, utilize the potential anyway. So, and this was, I picked it up, first thing I try, I blow on the one hole. I check, how is the lowest note? nice the next thing I'm gonna talk a little bit about is the sound I've said before that harmonicas uh, usually sound like harmonicas uh, no matter which harmonica you buy it's gonna sound like a harmonica and I think that that's still true it sounds like a harmonica there's not you know a groundbreaking difference in sound from any other harmonica I've tried but it sounds the note tone is consistent consistent throughout the holes and it's it's nice it's even and i think in the degree there's a difference between the sound i will say that Compared to the Kongsheng Lyra, it's more mellow. Uh, the Super 64 has kind of this bright, nice sounding honer sound. And I think that's something unique. This doesn't have it, it has something else. It, it's, it's a really sweet and mellow sound. But you know, in a blind test, would you be able to tell the difference between this one and another? I, I don't know. But in terms of how it feels to play, this is the best chromatic harmonica I have tried by far. It's uh, it's not comparable to any of the others I played. It feels very responsive. The notes are even. You know, when you apply air pressure on one hole and take that to the next hole, and you make a slight adjustment because the reed is smaller, but there's a smooth transition here. You're not having big jumps in how they respond. It's very even. It's the read work is very good. So, it's a very good harmonica. I'm not sure what more to say. The magnetic button. I'm sure uh, if you are considering this one, you're going to be like me. You'll order one of these springs, the mechanical spring, uh, just in case. I, I told them to add this one. Seidel even sent me an email and asked if they should install it for me. And I told them, no, um, I, I don't want that, but I want to have it because I'm not sure how I will like the magnetic. And I, I love it. It's really nice. It's smooth. It doesn't have that, you know, with a spring, it's kind of like you have to push a bit. With this one, you don't. You don't have to, you know, it's... The slider, it's amazing. I love the magnetic slider. The criticism that I read online and heard from others is that it tends to clog up to no stick after a while. If I will see maybe maybe after a while I will get this will happen and maybe I don't like it, but as of now I'm thinking it's worth investing a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of care and dedication. Um I'm a pretty dry player, I don't really have issues with the slider sticking on any of my harmonicas, I know some people have this, uh, so maybe it will be alright for me with this one as well, we will see. But the the concept, the mag magnet, it's very good, trust, trust. I, I will make several videos, I will tell you how what I'm feeling about 
in four weeks maybe later maybe i will make a video saying i installed it i'm sick and tired of the magnetic slider but my first impression after a few days is that it's very good it's responsive it's nice to touch it's, it doesn't require any like reprogramming of how you use the slider i was just playing straight away i'm getting a bit conscious about the force i'm applying sometimes i'm thinking did you have to push that hard no probably not so i'm gonna i think i will develop a slider touch but i could pick it up right away there was no adjustment needed to play so Thanks for watching, uh, I'm gonna keep you updated about how this um, is going uh, and how I'm growing with the harmonica, but so far I have to say it's the best purchase I've ever done. I have never played a better feeling, a better, nicer sounding, a better harmonica. So thanks for watching.